Do you get a sense that Donald Trump has the, the DNA to do that? In other words, to be a unifier, to be magnanimous, to, to stop the name calling and that kind of stuff, because that is what holds a good many Americans back. They do like what he did in office or a good many of them. Uh, but when it comes to pulling the lever and realizing that that that, that haunting and some of his less, you know, uh, warm and fuzzy parts, they, that, that's where they draw the line. What, what about you? Well, look, I think there's two things I'd say in response to that, Neil. First, most Americans know judge a man not by his words, but by his actions. And for the better in Donald Trump's case, when you look at that first term, he kept us out of foreign wars and he grew the economy. Two things that Americans really wish for now with an economy where they've struggled and on the brink of potentially major conflicts around the world. Look at a man who's actually done the job. And for the first time in American history, we have, and I say this as a scientist, a control, as somebody at least who was in the biotech world, a controlled experiment, okay? You have four years of Biden and you have four years of Trump. Compare the two when it comes to international stability, economic growth, and border security. People will be able to make their choice based on results and action. But to your point about words and even about communication, I thought the way that Trump actually handled that press conference, that announcement after the Supreme Court decision was actually elegant and, dare I say, inspiring for the country, casting that decision as a decision about national unity. And that's actually what it was. The Supreme Court basically said, are we one nation? If we are, we have to be one nation that elects one president on all of the ballots. All the candidates have to be listed or else we're not a country. We're a patchwork of states. And I think Donald Trump came off of that, not with a message of grievance, but with a message going to the heart of what that ruling on Monday was all about. It was about national unity. So, yes, most importantly, in the context of action and track record, and you have that controlled experiment of four years of Trump versus four years of Biden, that's what's most important. But even in these recent weeks, talking about the importance of free speech and national unity, I do think that's been the correct step in a right direction that could deliver that unifying landslide, Neil. And I'm going to do everything in my part to make that happen as well. And I'm optimistic for what can happen. Fostering individual judgment, urging individuals to base decisions on their evaluations of outcomes and actions becomes pivotal. The significance of individual choices lies in shaping personal responsibility and destiny. I wholeheartedly appreciate Vivek Ramaswamy's advocacy for evaluating politicians. Through their actions, rather than mere words, this democratic value prioritizes tangible outcomes, particularly in realms like international stability, economic growth, and border security. Examining Donald Trump's communication style as elucidated by Vivek Ramaswamy opens up intriguing insights. If one values authenticity and directness, Donald Trump's handling of press conferences may be deemed an elegant and inspiring approach. Even with its unconventional, less warm, and somewhat ambiguous elements. I resonate with the notion that comparing Donald Trump's four-year administration with the current Joe Biden administration serves as a means for the public to make informed choices. It's an evaluation of leadership based on actual outcomes and performance. Commenting positively on Donald Trump's treatment of the Supreme Court ruling as a message of national unity might seem noteworthy. Prioritizing unity and emphasizing the state as a crucial entity aligns with democratic values of patriotism and a robust national identity. There's a sense of empathy for Vivek Ramaswamy's optimism and dedication to playing a role in fostering a landslide of unity. The public, often holding the power to distinguish between individual participation and shaping the future, stands poised to make a significant impact. 